Okay, so today we're going to do um, our refraction lab. So it's this one here. Um, not the most ideal way to do a lab, but at least I can feel like you're getting something from this. Um, okay, so the purpose of this lab, um, in this experiment, you will make measurements and perform calculations in an attempt to determine the index of refraction of a material. Okay, so the index of refraction of the material we're looking for is the glass that's used to make this prism. Okay, so you do not have that index of refraction. You do not, um, you do not know that yet. We're going to figure that out. Okay, so all you need is your ray box with your slit card, and you can kind of see the ray. It's not this light isn't too bright for that. Um, uh, and we need a ruler, a protractor, uh, which I have forgotten, but I found one in the bottom of my plastic thing that uh, we have used for when we're putting beams of light through water. Um, and yeah, I think we're good. So what I've done, and I've done this in the past with the class because it's better just to help explain to do this to the kids. Um, I traced the prism on my piece of paper so I know where to place it, okay? I have pre-drawn the angles at which we're shining the light through. So the angle of incidence, which is coming, um, which is coming out here, I'll pull this over so you can see it, which is coming out of our ray box here, will be our angle of incidence. We have to measure it um, five different times. So we have to put it into the prism at 10 degrees. And remember, we oh, sorry, we always measure the angle of incidence from the normal. So I've already drawn, um, drawn the normal there and I've done so this is 10 degrees this is gonna be 20 this is gonna be 30 this is gonna be 40 and this is gonna be 50 okay so we put our angle of incidence through there um, so we've got our angle of incidence in that first line and then we're gonna measure measure angle of refraction so I'm actually kind of glad I'm doing it this way where I get to do it because I can't tell you enough how many kids um, actually measure the wrong angle of refraction when they're doing this actual lab so I'm gonna do this, and then you guys can fill all this part out together. Um, in the past, I've actually done this before doing Snell's Law, and then I teach them Snell's Law, and then I have them go back, oh, this one doesn't have a back on it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, and then they have to go and fill out the questions that are usually on the back, which you do, do have. Um, so we can do this together. I'm just going to point out right now, though, um, so you're going to fill this in and you're going to hand it in. Um, this is just saying like sine of theta um, of the incident angle. So you're going to take 10 degrees and you're going to sign it and you're going to put your decimal in there. Okay. This one is sine of the theta refracted. So whatever angle I measure, you're going to sign it and you're going to put that decimal in there. Then you're going to fill this all out. It will be, all be the same. Index of refraction for uh, incident. Well, it's the air. What's the index of refraction for air? Okay. And then you're going to figure this one out after. Okay. So you're going to do your calculation Snell's law on these three. And you're going to figure out what NR is. So do your Snell's law. And on the back, it has you do it. You have to do it five times. Okay. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Your index of refraction are not all going to be the same. They're going to be like a couple decimals off, which is fine. Okay. And the question on the back is, add the five of them together, what's the average, divide by five and figure out what the average index of refraction is from your calculations, okay? So not too tricky. Um, I meant to say something and now I forget what I was gonna say, but that's okay, all right? All right, so air, you have to sign these two decimals here. Um, and then I'm gonna give, we're gonna do the index uh, angle of refraction right now. So our lab, we're gonna put our, the, our little half prism here, okay? And we're gonna set it so the light is coming in at 10 degrees, okay? And it's going to hit there. Perfect, it hits that exact angle. And what we do is we make a measurement on the bottom, okay? I'm gonna take it off each time and do my line to the dot that I made. So this is our angle here of refraction. Okay, I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna move it to 20. Oh, and I accidentally moved my camera. It's the cords, sorry. Sorry guys, it's just the cords. Okay, so we got this here. I'm gonna do our angle, our 
coming in precise as I can get it here. There we go, 20, perfect. I'm gonna do our little here. We're gonna do our little dot here. Okay, I'm gonna take a note here. So really all you're doing right now is watching me measure these angles because I haven't given you what the angles are yet, but I will get to that. And then you can go off and do your lab and it will be grand. Um, so about there, perfect. Okay. Okay, so that is number It obviously, hopefully you're, you're noticing, and it should make sense hopefully by now, that you can see that the angles are quite a lot smaller than these ones, right? Because light is traveling faster in air than it is through this glass, okay? Hopefully by now you've, you've managed to figure that out. Okay, yep, hang on. I'm gonna have to, oh, I'm making a mess all over the place here. Not an ideal work area. Okay. So I got here 40. Okay, there. 40 is coming out here. You know what? I'm just going to do 50 right away so I don't have to reset it because it's kind of a pain in the butt. There we go. I can't really see that one very well. Um, I just got to shade it a little bit. Perfect. Okay. So no more with the ray box. Here and then here. Okay. So your part, let me just unplug that ray box. Save electricity. All right. So for your form here, I lost my lab here on the floor. Okay. So now I'm going to be reading off the, the angles you're going to be putting in here. And then you can fill out the rest of this lab and submit it. Not great. I'm gonna. I have to use this because I don't have another protractor. I'm sure my teenage daughter might have one, but I'm sure she probably doesn't know where it is. Okay. Um. What are we doing here? All right. So for the ten degrees, the refracted angle is eight. Eight degrees. Okay. So ten degrees. In, I'm just gonna do. Well, it's not a capital. Instant angle. This is not, and then refract it. Okay. So 10 degrees equals eight degrees. 20 degrees equals mm, let's say 12 degrees. 30 degrees equals the refracted angle is what is that 10? All these lines are throwing me off. 10. That looks like it's about 18. Um, 40 degrees equals, that's 20, let's put 26, and 50 degrees equals 32, okay? So these are the incident angles, this is the refracted angle. So you're going to fill those in, right? Well, this is already filled in for you, right? It's all right, bam, there. You're going to fill these, though, in here and then you're going to fill out the rest of the lab and then you're going to do the questions that are on the back not my back my back is blank but on yours um and if you have any questions regarding that lab you can um check in with me during google Meet. okay so that's that's for that's the morning portion so you're going to work on that lab and hand it in and you guys are done thanks